I know y'all are like, what in the world is my my title about? Well, first of all, I had had a lot of stuff. When I say a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on lately. Like it's been frustrating, but I still been praying for him all along, no matter what. First of all, surgery. I told you my mom had a surgery and everything on her knee. So I'm talking to her on the phone. She falls down the stairs. So now that I have to worry about. I already had to worry about her knee surgery. So she falls down the stairs. I'm just telling you a timeline of all the stuff that's been happening. Okay. So that happened. After that, my mother-in-law, she gets the surgery done. She has her knee, her knee replaced. Okay. All well and good. We happy she getting a knee replacement. So she starts getting sick, going to the doctor and stuff, and they're like, oh no, you know, it's okay, you know. And so this particular day, she gets hives and all of this stuff, and she's not feeling good at all. So we're like, yeah, you want to go to the hospital? We need to take you to the hospital. She couldn't even get up to go to the hospital this time. Like before she was going to the doctor, she was able to get up a little bit. This time she's very weak. She got hives everywhere, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting nervous. So we called the ambulance and come and get her. Guess what? It's some kind of medicine that they put inside of your knee to keep it from getting infected. They put that in there. She was allergic to that. The same medicine they had on her knee that was giving her in her arm and stuff like that. So her being allergic to it is in her knee. She's allergic to it in her arm. It caused her to have kidney failure. So now we're going through this. So now at this point, she has to have dialysis. She has to have dialysis because she's having kidney failure. And I'm not wanting to listen to what she was saying about the fact that, you know, something's wrong with the medicine and stuff like that. So they're going through all this stuff. Okay, they stopped giving her the medicine, but guess what? It's still in her knee. Okay, you need to get that out too. It's still in her knee. So they have to do her knee replacement over again. Think about all the pain she just went through and getting this, this um, knee surgery. Now they have to open it right back up and do it again. So she was in the hospital for like forever. Like she was in there for over a month. So, you know, I'm stressed out with that, you know, upset about that. Why, while she's in the hospital, that's when you see the other video of me where I thought I was having a heart attack. That's when I was going through that thing. You know, so I'm in the hospital, same time she's in the hospital going through that. So here we go again, another thing. Like all this stuff is lining up back to back to back. So we're feeling like, oh my gosh, you know, all this is going on. So the whole time I'm still praising him, praising him no matter what. You praise him no matter what. I don't care what you're going through, you still praise him. Not only praise him when he's giving you something, you praise him all the time. So, okay, that's going on. Then all of a sudden, here we go with this. We want to sign another lease. The, the person that owns our house, we're renting our house. The person that owns our house said, that yeah, they want us to sign another lease. Actually sign a lease for, I think like 16 months or something like that, anyway. So they said we can sign another lease, so. You know, and they tell us this early, early enough. So we're not worried about looking for a place or anything. Why, when we only got 60 days, they give us a 60 day notice saying that they wanna move back in the house, they think that'd be better because they can't afford where they're staying. We got all this other stuff going on. My mother-in-law in the hospital, my mom was in the hospital, all of this other stuff going on in our mind. I just went through my traumatic situation with my migraines and all that stuff. Sick, like done, like done. And they tell us, no, they want to move back in their place. So now basically we have nowhere to stay. We got to find somewhere in 60 days. My kids live in a certain school district and it's hard to find a house to rent in that school district. So that means where I live, you can't go to that school unless you live in that school district. They don't care if you was already in that school, had been going to that school, you're gonna have to move your school. So I'm stressed out, like, are you serious? Okay, here's another one for you. During this time, my son, he's at practice. He runs track. He's doing the high jump, I think is what it's called, where you jump up over, over the thing or whatever. He's doing that. He hits his nose, breaks his nose. There's another one, breaks his nose. 
so now he's bleeding all over the place. We having to check on him, worrying about where we gonna live, worrying about my mother-in-law, worrying about my mom, trying to keep my health under wraps. All of this is going on, but we still got to find a place to live. Okay, he's home. He can't go to school. His nose is bleeding so bad. He can't really do anything. So the other day he gets his nose surgery. Finally get his nose surgery, but he still can't go to school like that. With all of that being said, I went through all of this. This is like back to back to back. This isn't like a year apart. This is like month, a month or two. All of this right here is happening. And still we got to find somewhere to stay. You know what I'm saying? So through all of that, I'm praying to God, thanking God for everything he's doing, he's doing it, he's going to do. Continue to praise God and let him know that I'm, I'm praising him no matter what. No matter what I'm going through. I'm going through a lot, going through a lot, going through a lot. Sit, sitting there crying, at work crying, not letting nobody know what's going on. People know a little bit what's going on here and there, but they just don't know how serious it is. They don't know how serious it is. At this point, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm not getting any sleep. I'm tired. My body's hurting. My body's aching. I'm trying to keep from getting one of those bad migraines before I be in the hospital again. I'm tired. But through all of that, I'm still thanking God, praising God, thanking God for everything He's done, He's doing, and He's going to do. I'm tired. And I'm still here. I'm still going through it. We don't have a place yet. And it's what? What's today's day? It's April 13th. And we have to move out by May 15th. Still don't have a place yet. Still have to find a place. Still stressed out. But through all of it, I thank God. Thank God for everything. So I just want you to know, like, people go through things, and you go through things, and you may think, like, that's the end, end, like, everything is so bad. You could have gone through stuff worse than what I have, and I get that. But you have to thank God no matter what. You have to, to praise Him. You have to be faithful. You have to know that everything's going to be okay, because at the end of the day, it's back to back to back, you know. But I'm 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 gonna be okay. I'm, I know I'm gonna be okay, and I have the faith that I'm gonna be okay. It's just not happening right now. It may not come when you want him, but he's right on time, and I know he's gonna be right on time exactly when I need him. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell y'all how he came on time for whatever it is that he decides to do do for me or do with me. Um. God has been there for a lot of stuff. I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. A lot of stuff that y'all will probably never know. I may decide to tell you one day, but this is just a trial. This is just something I'm going through right now. But guess what? I'm going to come through it. Come through it victoriously. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you guys, guess what? This is what God did for me. And I'm going to show you this is what God did for me. And you're going to be like, oh, wow. You know, this girl done been through all this stuff. And she still believed. And guess what? Now look what he did for. Guys, be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have all kind of stuff going on on my videos and on my channel. But, you know, I just had to come say that because I've been going through some stuff and I've been kind of down. But you're going to have times that you're down. Don't feel like, you know, you're never going to come up. And don't never feel like you can't feel down just a little bit, you know. But still praise them. And believe and have faith. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you hadn't already. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I'll come back with another video telling you guys what what blessings I have. Alright guys, thank you for watching.